Hi, my name is Sona, and you're listening to Heart to Heartland, a fan podcast from a fan perspective. Welcome back. Uh, I know season 16 has ended like weeks ago at this point, but I feel like we need this kind of recap to really wrap everything up. So that's what we're doing today. And so I made a post on Instagram asking your opinions now that you've seen all the episodes and sort of seen what this season really was about. Uh, But before we get into those, I'm going to read the synopsis for the season to see if it really told us anything about the season because often they're kind of vague or even a bit misleading at times so it's kind of fun to look back now and see what something meant or where they went wrong with something they said but um yeah so let's just jump in so The official synopsis for the season said, Season 16 of Heartland finds Amy and the rest of the family making bold strides toward their futures. For Amy, that means taking the blinders off and looking at her life with renewed hope and focus. She'll be challenged by the horses that need her help, but she'll also open herself up to the possibility of new friendships and maybe even romance. I mean, I th- I think that was pretty accurate. I mean, I don't know how much the storyline for her changed this season, but I would say that this was pretty accurate. I think that was giving me a lot of hope. I remember being very excited about it, but now uh, looking back, it was one of the biggest letdowns for me personally because I was looking forward to seeing Finn and Amy uh, developing some kind of bond, whether that was romantic or not. And, you know, obviously it got caught short and so it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So it just felt like Amy sort of drifted along the season, especially the later part of the season. Amy's daughter, Lindy, will follow in her mom's footsteps as her talents with horses start to develop over the course of the season. I'd say this is accurate, obviously. Uh, We saw Lindy do a lot of liberty work and then perform with Amy at the end of the season. And then, of course, we had the barrel raising hobby. So I think this was accurate. Jack and Lisa will find themselves living out of the dreams they've both worked so hard to achieve, but they'll also realize that there are unforeseen consequences to dreams coming true. Um, I would say it's somewhat accurate to what Lisa was going through. I mean, I feel like Platinum Bow was her dream and then, you know, things happened. This just makes it seem like there was possibly more happening because from the top of my mind, the only storyline that I can think back to with Jack is the Al storyline and him getting hurt and sort of looking after everyone else. So I don't know what this would mean when it comes to Jack. Um, I'm open to hear your suggestions um, because right now I'm drawing a blank. Just as Lou and Peter have recommitted as a couple, Katie will struggle to find her place in the world and in her family. Yeah, I would say this is accurate, but then again, it isn't saying much. So it's easier that way compared to what was said about Amy, for example. Tim has never been happier in his marriage to Jessica, but a ghost from his past will force him to reconsider mistakes he made years ago and seek ways to atone for them. In season 16, the Bartlett family will come together more than ever to face their fears and start the next chapter in their lives. I mean, the end of the synopsis is basically what they always say. Um, But yeah, the Tim thing is very true. I mean, we had Mike and then Shane. I think Tim's storyline this season was one of my favorites to follow. I really enjoyed seeing Bay uh, and the Spencer twins more. 
they're really talented, all of them. So it was really nice to see them become more central in the story. Um, but I, I am disappointed about Lou's storyline. I felt like it was a struggle after struggle and the payoff didn't really feel worth it. And I don't know if Lou really came out of it better in some ways. I just felt like she just got knocked over and over and over. And eventually she just got up, but she was just bruised all over. Um, also, one of the storylines I really enjoyed this season was Rick's storyline. First of all, we got to see more of him, but also, you know, the season started with him possibly becoming a dad, and then he really had an opportunity to show that he's really capable when it comes to his job, and then eventually, you know, we got to see Carl and baby Maddie. So it was something I didn't expect to see from this season. Obviously, we got the little teaser with Rick saying he's about to become a dad, possibly. So I, we knew that much. But the scale of this, I didn't expect that. So that was a pleasant surprise for me and one of the things I enjoyed most about season 16. There were some good moments with Jack and Lisa as well, but I feel like they could have done more with them. It just felt like Lisa was gone a lot and whenever she was there, there was something else going on and they really didn't get together that strongly as I hoped they would, especially after Jack's accident. So yeah, that was something I wanted more of, but at the same time, I don't really know how much they had to kind of shuffle around with the season because of different reasons. Um, so it would be interesting to see if there was like a first plan for the season and then compare it that to what it ended up being because I think there were good moments in this season. There were good episodes that I really liked, uh, but at the same time, I felt like in some parts they were a little lost, and I don't know if that was just because things uh, got changed in some ways or if they're like looking for a new direction and don't really know how to proceed with that. And I think. Even though there were a lot of things that didn't meet my expectations, there were also a lot of things that I did find good and enjoyable. So yeah, I think it was pretty solid season. Now on to your comments. Roy said, there were only four or five episodes that were decent. Lots of the episodes were choppy. Tim's part is a waste of time and is tiring. Amy and Lindy are carrying the show. Need more stories with the twins. And then they continued. I enjoyed seeing the twins more and growing up. They are really my favorite part of the show now. The scenes with Amy and Lindy were my favorites. I enjoyed the episode where they sang Katie's song. I'm tired of lovesick Amy. She needs to start acting her age and quit the mooning. I hope there is season 17 so Amy can find a mate who will fit the part like Ty did. It's going to be hard to find a guy that will connect like Ty did. It is very rare to find a couple that can carry the whole show like Ty and Amy did for 13 seasons. Ty was my favorite character and I hate that he quit, but I can understand why. No Edwin. Then HL Horses said, the first half of the season was really good. Second half, still good, but not as much. I did like all the Finn and Amy stuff, even though it wasn't going to last. But then dragging out Finn's plot line so long and making him look bad wasn't the best choice. Same with Lou and Katie's storyline and dragging it out. I loved the Jack and Lisa stuff this season and seeing the fishing cabin. Wish it was more of a cheesy focused fishing cabin episode, though. The mid-season cliffhanger was so well done, and I loved it, even if it was painful to watch, but they needed to show way more fallout of Jack's accident than they did. I liked seeing Mallory back and loved seeing Shane back from the well. Seeing Georgie back was nice as well, and Quinn. Seeing Rick get more of the spotlight, adopting Maddie, and seeing Carl finally were also highlights. One of my favorite scenes was Tim coaching Rick. I'm interested to see if Edwin plays a role in season 17 if there ends up being one. All in all, I thought it was a decent season. Better than some of the recent shorter season we have gotten besides 14. Here's the season 17. And then Sharon shared her favorite scenes. Episode 7, seeing Mallory and Jake and their story. Amy and Finn sharing a moment. Robert's last scene, 
Smiling in His Truck. Episode 10, Lou and Amy Scenes Together. Episode 12, Amy Taking Off Her Rings. Episode 13, Lou Scene at the Radio Station, Seeing Her Struggle with Her Job and Katie. Her scenes with Katie. I enjoyed season 16 and see that there are more stories to continue and start. Then MC Love's Heartland said, I really enjoyed this season. I think with it being longer than the past few seasons, they were given room to have more storylines and also built a good arc that isn't rushed. That being said, they did drag out some storylines. The Katie and Lou one was one of them. It was dragged out so much that I was just ready for it to be resolved by the end of the season. I do think that the way they ended it was really well done with Lou's interview. The season had so many great episodes and family moments. A few of my favorite episodes were 2, 5, 10, 14, and 15. Some of my favorite scenes are when Katie was reading Gigi Lindy's journals at the end of episode 2, the vow renewal, Shane and Tim's meeting in New York City, and the miracle girl scene. I love seeing some of the characters we haven't seen in a while come back. It was really nice to see how they are doing now. They all came into their old roles so naturally. Seeing Shane and Tim's relationship start to repair was great to see. Katie really shined. I love seeing her character grow and discover who she is. One storyline I think they could have done better on is the Finn and Amy storyline. I'm not sure how much they changed after Robert's passing, but I don't think Chrissy, I think that was her name, was part of it. The ending of the storyline wasn't terrible, but it still doesn't sit well with me that they almost made him into a bad guy. Jack's recovery was unrealistic and I would have liked it if they didn't rush it as much. This season was in some ways different than I expected, but in a good way. I love season 16 and can't wait for more. Then S. Davidson said, Beautiful season. Love every minute of it. Fabulous season finale. Then Lisa Ken Forever said, I really enjoyed season 16 and that we got 15 episodes. My guess is that I would have liked it even better if Robert hadn't passed away and they didn't have to adapt the storylines. I think the Lou and Katie storyline was realistic, also that it wasn't solved so quickly. Lou opening up in that interview showed her vulnerable side. I like that Katie shows the struggle of being a teen and not a horse person. They rocked. I was happy that Shane was back not only once, but twice. Too bad they didn't show them playing squash. Love Tim and Jessica's relationship, the Lou and Amy scenes, Liddy being mad, and the Jade sighting. I really enjoyed the Amy and Caleb banter, but I hope it won't turn into something romantic. I didn't see the point of bringing young Jack back. I would have preferred Jack talking to Lisa instead. Love that Jack and Tim were so supportive of each other this season. Mike, accident, the well. Wish we would get some Tim, Katie scenes, but the bedtime scene with Lindy was so cute. Lou and Peter were also quite sweet in the last two episodes, and it was so good to see the whole Fleming Morris family reunited when Georgie returned. Lou and Rick are an entertaining duo, and Tam coaching Rick was hilarious. I was somehow hoping that Shane would come out, and this would have presented an opportunity for Rick coaching Tim. I'm glad that Amy hasn't found the next big love yet, but at the same time, sad that the chance of seeing Finn return is no longer an option. Mallory was back to her old funny self, and I hope she and Jake will be back with the baby. I'm quite optimistic that we will get a season 17, and I hope for another 15 episodes. And then Dip said, I thoroughly enjoyed this season. I'm especially grateful for the extra five episodes, which gave more space for the longer story arcs. Two of my favorites were the mother-daughter stories. One, Amy and Lindy moments positioning Lindy as the next Miracle Girl. Two, Lou and Katie moments focusing on Lou's work slash life balancing act and normal teenage angst. I also have suspicion that I would have enjoyed season 16 even more as originally written and that the Finn and Amy romance was meant to take root. Heartland always provides a few of those hallmark moments that people love. Perfect example is Jack's I couldn't be more proud of you speech to Amy in the finale. I enjoyed these as well, but it's the tiny details and the characters' everyday behavior that I enjoy more.
Lou and Amy's sisterly banter on their road trip with the added bonus when she drops her coin in the vibrating bed worth every penny. Too bad she missed it. How on Jessica and Tim's trip to see Shane, she bumps into Shane and through simple casual conversation provides him with a different understanding of his father. Peter's reaction when Tim walks in and steals their food. Personally, I am more likely to rewind these kinds of scenes to see if I missed anything. I'm going to finish off with a comment about the Jack Al storyline. I realized that the writers try to please all types of viewers and that some people love melodrama. They must miss Ty terribly. I do not. So next time, please forget the troubling dreams and conversations with young Jack. Jack has an understanding and underutilized wife to talk to who could help him sort out his feelings. He doesn't have to talk to himself. I would have much preferred a long, intimate Jesus scene discussing the well Al and his dad's drinking. Perfectly said. I mean, those were a lot of my thoughts about this season as well. Anyway, uh, that's all the comments this week. And uh, I just want to thank you all for sticking with me this season and just making this so much fun every week and just being this nice little community where we can share thoughts and be reasonable with them. Um, I really appreciate that and appreciate all of you. And um, yeah, until next week, keep your noses clean and your powder dry, as they say. Bye.